Tell you something amazing. 
about the joy of the Lord. The joy of Jesus is really special because it's nothing like what you would imagine when you drink water. Okay? Is that right, Liz? Mm -hmm. Okay? It's a little bit fizzy, it's a little bit exciting, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay? When we begin to worship Jesus, and we go deep, 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 and we go, and we begin to pray, and we begin to talk to Him, and we begin to feel alive, because who knows that worship makes us feel that? Live. Even if you don't feel like worshiping and you begin to worship Jesus, what happens? Bubbles start to break out inside of us and a joy that is unspeakable starts to take over. Alright? And so what's going to happen when I open up this? Woo! Joy is overtaking in, joy in character kitchen. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you're exploding with joy, okay? We can't keep it inside. Jesus says that the living water is like that. It's like well springs that are bursting up into eternal life. So this is so good. Cheers. Cheers to joy. Mm. Who's got the joy of the Lord today? I hope you do. I hope you're feeling excited. Mm. And you know what? Joy isn't like happiness. Is that right, Liv? <laughs> Livy's got the giggles. <laughs> joy is not about happiness, is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's think about the things that make us happy. Uh, I have what? Sprite, chocolate chip cookies. Sprite, chocolate chip cookies. We've just been making chocolate chip cookies. Except something happened to the chocolate chip cookies the first time we made them. Mm -hmm. What happened? They got burnt. They got burnt, boys and girls. Check this out. Oh my goodness. What would happen? If our joy was dependent on chocolate chip cookies, you wouldn't be very joyful right now if you had burnt chocolate chip cookies. But thankfully, the kind of joy that we were drinking of Jesus, okay, the kind of joy that comes when we worship and we spend time with Him, thankfully, is a different kind of joy. It's not happiness. Do you know what the Bible says about joy? It says in Nehemiah 8 verse 10, the joy of the Lord is my strength. strength. And some Bibles, a children's Bible that I love so much says, the joy of the Lord is our superpower. Now imagine we could be like Superman and we could have a superpower. And that's what Holy Spirit does in us, is that he gives us the superpower, a little bit like the power of petrol that we put into a car. But he gives us the power of joy to get his work done. Isn't that amazing? So if we're feeling sad and troubled, it's not likely that we're going to get something done with joy. But if we're filled with joy and we're excited, then we're going to do it and we're going to do it well, aren't we? And that's what the joy of the Lord is all about. Okay, so don't forget before your day begins, when you brush your teeth, when you put on your clothes, it's the joy of the Lord that is your strength. And if you're feeling grumpy, speak to your spirit. Say, hey, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And even though I'm feeling disappointed or unhappy right now, I'm going to choose joy because joy is a choice. Did you know that? You can choose joy. You can choose if you want to be thankful and you can choose if you want to pray to God when you're grumpy. It's always a choice, but we have to choose it. So Livia and I have been making a gratitude jar because the Bible says be thankful always and there's a special link there between being thankful and being joyful. And so we made a list of all the things that we were grateful for and that started to fill our joy bucket because we realized how blessed we are. So why don't you do that this week? If you've got a bucket or a jar in your home, why don't you call it your Thanksgiving jar? And write down all the things that you're thankful for. This one says friends. Yes, more friends. This one says chocolate chip cookies. This one says Lego. This is making Libby joyful just looking at it. This one says cousins. cousins. This one says teachers. Are oh, we so blessed to have our teachers? And dogs. If you've got dogs, you might be so grateful for your dogs. House. Our house. Grateful for our house. 
Dad. Dad, grateful for our dad. Let's now look at the story of Paul and Silas and see how they showed joy even when they were thrown into jail. Slapstick Theater. Paul and Silas. This is Paul. Oh, hey. Who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. One day, Paul was walking with his friend Silas. Hey, yo. They were being followed by a girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her owners used her to make money. After days and days of this happening, Paul got so annoyed that he turned around and told the evil spirit to leave her. So the girl was free. But her owners got mad at Paul and Silas because they wouldn't make any money off of her anymore. And they had them thrown in jail. The jailer locked them up. Oh, man. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and the chains of all the prisoners fell off. Oh, what just happened? But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. See ya! So boys and girls, today, thankfully, we made a second batch of cookies, and they've turned out quite delicious. But remember, joy is not the same thing as happiness. And that was what was truly amazing about the story of Paul and Silas. We're pretty happy eating our chocolate chip cookies right now. But Paul and Silas were thrown into jail, which was miserable. And they showed more than happiness. They showed a deep joy, which is trusting in God. It's trusting that everything is going to be turning out just right. Everything will turn out right when we trust in God. And so that was amazing. Did you enjoy that story? Yep. Cheers to that. I'm enjoying my tea and chocolate chip cookies. Mm. But sometimes we do go through very difficult situations. Sometimes we don't do well in a test like we thought we would. Sometimes we don't make the netball team or the rugby team or get chosen for the cricket team. Sometimes things just don't work out as we've planned and we thought we were on our way to a holiday and then the holiday gets cancelled. Sad things happen like that. I know, and sometimes we easily get disappointed. But thankfully, it's the joy of the Lord that's our strength. And when we feel disappointed, all we need to do is go to Jesus and be reminded that everything happens in the, in the perfect time. And that joy is a gift that he gives us. So we can be happy every day of the year, even when sad things happen. We can still feel joy because we trust in him. And these cookies are delicious. Oh, I'm so glad we persevered. Imagine we'd stopped at the burnt ones. <laughs> we would never get to the good ones. Yeah. Let's head over to Bug and Gutter's food truck to see what joy lesson they are learning about today. Gus, hand me those bananas. Oh, got it. Ah! Ah! You're sorry? What happened? There was a monster behind the bananas! That's ridiculous! That's a pineapple, not a monster! But it was spiky and I thought it was just... It just you you so... thought that a pineapple would attack you? Yeah! Well, you have bigger problems now. All of our pies are ruined. Oh. We're supposed to open any minute! I'm sorry, I... I can fix this! No! You can't! We'll have to close for today. Hey guys, I know you're open for a couple more minutes, but I was really hoping I get to get some strawberry pies. It's my friend's birthday, and I was sorry, gonna surprise. David, we have no pies today. I'm sorry we had to disappoint you. Oh, that's okay. Well, are you guys doing all right? We're fine. It's just not a happy day for the Wildwood Pie Company. What happened? I got scared of a pineapple and I made a big mess. So we're packing up and going home to be grumpy all the rest of the day. 
Yeah. Well, I don't think you have to be grumpy all day. Yes, we do. It's a grumpy day. Well, even though it was a hard day, you can still have joy. Oh, I, I learned about that one time. Mm, let me see if I can remember it. Forget it. Oh, no, we can choose to have joy even when we aren't happy. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's confusing because joy isn't the same thing as happiness. Joy is actually a fruit of the Spirit. Again, with these not actual fruits. Joy is choosing to worship God even when we are not happy. So you're saying that me and Gus should choose to have joy even when all of our pies are ruined? I know it's not an easy thing to do, but that's why we have the Holy Spirit's help. God helps us have joy when we know Him. Yeah, Bog. Quiet, you. This is all your fault. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Gus. All right, let's give this a try. I am choosing to have joy, even though all of our pies are ruined. Are you feeling joyful? A little. Yay! Great. Just remember that you can choose joy by worshiping God even when you're not happy. All right. Uh, I'll give it a try. Bog. Let's get back to baking. I'll call Melly and see if she can help. Well, and I have some free time. I, I, I could come back and I can help. Oh. oh well, thanks, David. Yeah. Let's all get to baking. Yeah. All hey, right. David, can you get this pineapple out of here? Yeah. Still scared. And so what we're going to do now is we leave together. As we're going to stand up, I want you to enjoy this music video of the people dancing in the water because it's going to remind you that when we worship, we begin to feel the living water welling up inside of us, and that's what makes us filled with His Spirit. Let's dance away this morning knowing that the joy of the Lord is our strength. strength. He's our superpower. Let's stir up some deep, deep wells. And remember, today is a new day. Today you can choose joy. Bye. Have a beautiful week. i